Hey everybody, it's Matt Powers. I want to tell you about horizontal gene transfer because it settles the whole debate between whether we should DNA test or do microscopy. Last time you know, we spoke, I talked about how DNA is a river. Well, horizontal gene transfer is what facilitates that. So the microbes, like for example, E. coli in pathogenic conditions can take up the genes for virulence and suddenly become pathogenic, which in our older understanding was like, oh, it switched species and it did. But there, these microbes can do that in response to their environment. So it is the environment that causes it. And now there's all these people that for decades and decades have been studying microscopy and they've been looking at the morphology, the way things look. And now because of DNA testing, they see the same exact thing and it's, they're actually a different species. They're actually a different, you know, you know I mean? they're, they're totally different phyla, but they look exactly the same. What that says is that the morphology is convergent because of the environmental stressors. And so all that morphology, all that microscopy work, all that heritage, all that you know, legacy is valuable because it tells us about the environment. And, and, and in fact, the DNA being flat, unless you do the actual DNA testing to see who's there and then see what signals, uh, what um, genes there are, 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 are signaling and using, that is going to tell us about the environment. But it's expensive, you know, that's a lot of work too. Uh, but with a microscope, you can just see. And it's not <laughs> different things for different things, right? But, but you can see the morphological expression you can see w w what's advantageous there. And, and, and when we have an understanding of how fast things can change and how we can affect the environment and thus change the expression of the microbes, this is why you know, changing the soil changes the environment uh, for our plants, fundamentally inside and out, because the microbes that are healthy in the soil are also inside healthy plants, which are also inside us when we're healthy. So horizontal gene transfer is the communication and the receptivity to the environment and the adaptation. Morphology, what we see with the microscope, is the expression and result in response to the environment. So it's not one or the other. We have to recognize that the DNA is always going to change. The DNA is uh, ineluctable modality. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to be constantly changing in response to the, the environment. That's why the the fallacy of GMOs with this fixed, we own this gene, but it's gonna change in the environment if it's allowed to participate. It's also why they're so fragile, require poisons, require herbicides and fungus and all this stuff because they literally don't participate in, in, in the way that things actually work. So horizontal gene transfer really shows us that the microscope is incredibly valuable because it clues us into what's going on right now. And DNA testing can take a period of time, you know, up a day or two, and microbes are responding every millisecond. So they're going to respond to the stressors that we put them through. And yes, we're trying our best to capture them as fast as possible to keep them in, in the state of what they are. But the freshest state is going to be with a little bit of water on a slide under the microscope. And so we need to take all test methods with grains of salt right? You can't see all the bacteria. That's why we stain. You can't see, you know what I mean? Like, right? You can't see the whole field, but that's why we do multiple samples. We can't see the pH from this, but we can see behavior. And so when we take the pH test and combine it with the behavior, we get a deep understanding. So, so much is possible when we start doing 360 degree testing. That's what our soil database is all about. And so much is possible with regenerative soil microscopy check out the new course. It starts March 31st. I hope that you join us. Learn microscopy. It's, it, we have people start pure beginners and, and, and then are micros, microscopists by the end. And then we have people who are literally teaching university classes and running laboratories, taking this course to, to next level their skills. So I'm incredibly honored. I hope that you join us. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And go to www.regenerativesoilscience.com or www.regenerativesoilmicroscopy.com. See you there.